Hi, Peter. Um, so your interview preparation journey has finally come to an end and uh, you have accepted an offer from uh, Bain and Company in the German office. So congratulations for that. Um, so how are you feeling about uh, the outcome of your preparation efforts? I think uh, after all this preparation process, finally having the offer in front of me and saying, okay, this is a, is a great opportunity to start my own career and uh, yeah, to, to, to be, in a, to be in, in a future environment where you really uh, are, have supportive colleagues and have a great experience during the interview process. I think that was something special and I felt really strongly about Bain and that's why I decided to, to join them and I'm feeling pretty happy about the whole decision. Awesome. So how many interviews did you did you do in total uh, throughout the process and uh, how would you in general describe the process with Bain as a whole? Right? Uh, anything that really stood out to you during the conversations that you had with the different yeah, people and characters that you met? Uh, in total, I had four interviews, but uh, the last interview was a pretty nice one because uh, the interview, it was also a partner interview. Uh, he joined our call and said, okay, uh, my colleagues were so convinced and uh, the, yeah, the, this, this whole interview process has been going well. So um, I'm, I'm happy to, to present you with the offer. So it wasn't oh, really <laughs> an interview anymore. Um, that was so a they, pretty... they cut the process short for you? Because yes, you, you the first interview it was no longer an interview process. It was just like, oh, Peter, let's go for our offer. Uh, this and this uh, is important and I would like to present you with that. So that awesome. was a great, uh, great feeling because uh, I was, yeah, there, there was this, this tension because I, I, I thought, okay, this is now the, the last one. You have to give your, you present mm -hmm. the, the best version of myself. Yeah. And he came to the call like pretty, pretty relaxed and said, okay, Peter, relax, chill. Um, everything's okay. The offer is already done. Um, <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, I mean, Bain in Germany has a very, very good reputation, right? Um, it's on par with the other two MBBs. Um, however, they are significantly smaller in terms of the number of people, right? Um, so this means, uh, from what I from what I can tell, is they tend to be even a little bit more restrictive in terms of the number of, uh, of offers that they give out. So. What would you say? What were really the, like the crucial points, the crucial qualities that you could bring forward in order to, yeah, convince Bain of yourself and make them, yeah, want you to join them on board, even with cutting, <laughs> cutting short the process. What would you say? What were the crucial things there? I think it has two elements here. I think the first refers to a more per personal perspective, and the second one is really how you present yourself during the interview process. Yeah. Say personally, and that was also part of the feedback that I received, is that I was able to show my drive to that I'm really keen to develop myself, that I'm really want to work in a dynamic and supportive environment, and that was something that they they saw in me, and uh, I think that I did a pretty good job in convincing them uh, that I could be a good fit for Bain in general. Yeah, but especially, and this refers more to also the things that we together practiced is that I think I was able, even at the beginning of each interview process, to show that I'm an analytical person and whatever problem they throw at me, I can handle in some way. You yeah. can structure it and then you can uh, define the objective and w go on from there. Mm -hmm. And I, that was something, uh, when they noticed that, and I think that was, again, that was part of the feedback, when they noticed, okay, he. I can give him the problem and he will do it well. Uh, it gave them a great feeling and uh, also a, a pretty comfortable feeling. Yeah. And even if, if then you're stuck somewhere and maybe you, you need another hint because uh, maybe you can look at this perspective as well. Mm -hmm. I think in general, whenever you are able to convince the other side, even at the beginning of the process that, okay, this, this will go well. Yeah. And I think that's the best thing that you can do. And especially, mm -hmm. The things that we practice together help me in having the confidence mm -hmm. um, to, to tackle these problems. Um, so I was also pretty happy in the end to receive that feedback and that they told me, okay, you did pretty well in the whole process. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So, yeah, you mentioned it, right? The things that we um, uh, that we worked out together and how we prepared. So, I mean, as you know, uh, most candidates out there are approaching cases more from a framework mentality, right? Uh, because this is what, yeah, almost all the sources that exist are 
more or less brainwashing them into uh, uh, into doing. Um, but what we have done was pretty different, right? So we were not yes. approaching cases from what are the areas you need to look at, but we were approaching cases from the other side, right? From what is really the question and then how can we essentially break it down and how will this then lead to the areas that, that we might need to look at, right? So what would you say? Um, uh, how did these principles that we established, this freedom from frameworks help you in your success? Uh, it help in, in general. It helps to to tackle even really really difficult problems because, especially at the beginning of my process where I was trying to solve cases by myself, and mm -hmm. um, I think that the thing that still is in my mind is that you mentioned this kind of laundry list. The laundry list. If you if you try to tackle a problem with you want to say A B C D, then mm -hmm. the interviewer will say yeah why, why maybe G is missing why do, why we're not talking about G. It's yeah. not really structured how you really get to the solution or it's not really a structured approach. Yeah. And especially in, in, in difficult and hard problems, uh, maybe in a, in a niche country or in a really specific setting, yeah. um, it can sometimes be pretty difficult because then the launch list becomes pretty short just because you don't have the experience or the knowledge. Yeah. And then, then the performance in the end, unfortunately, will be pretty, pretty weak. But yeah. Things that we did is establishing this objective, working from there, structuring the problems in the main drivers, and trying to analyze them quantitatively and also qualitatively. And I think that was something. Knowing what you're doing and why you're doing this, mm -hmm. that was something that stood out to me and that really helped me, especially after then, after we got in touch and um, yep. the learning curve from there was pretty pretty steep. And so looking back, I. I think this helped me a lot just to to get better at doing cases and, and yep. structure approach. Yeah, yeah. So great. Now, um, what would you say now that you've uh, been successful, right? Uh, what would you recommend to a candidate who's just starting his interview preparation process? What What would be your I don't know uh, top uh, uh, one or two tips? Um, I think you can save a lot of time by having good advice at the beginning because of course you can do it on your own you can take case in point or whatever and you can try to get better at doing the laundry list okay that might be one approach might be not that successful but especially what helped me and also was way more efficient in the end especially mm -hmm. time wise was to get to, to receive professional input and especially the, the practice session that we together had helped me and in, in seeing the approach for different types of ops cases and that helped me going. And then, as, I mean, you cannot really, you have to also mention that it takes a lot of effort, the practice session with friends, the practice session with your other mentees, that was something where I could further develop these, yeah. these thinking structures and yeah. also practice more cases because in the end of the day, you, you need to do at least 30, 50 cases. I mean, it's, it's not really about the number, but you need to have a certain, you have to feel comfortable whenever yeah. you're presented with a case. Yeah, yeah. And it's about your own security, right? When you walk exactly. into these interviews. Mm -hmm. And I cool. think that, that would be the, the main two advices that I could give potential candidates that try to do it as professionally as possible from the start and then put in all the effort and put in all the work that is necessary to be successful at the end. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So, um, I mean, the German office has several locations. Which which city did you did you choose? Uh, for me, that was a no-brainer because uh, I wanted to be close to the mountains, and that's why I decided okay. for the Munich. I mean, okay, <laughs> short decision. <laughs> right at the Stachels. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, so, did you already settle on a start date? Uh, I will start on the 1st of July, so we'll have a few more months just to to finish the administrative process with my university and stuff and have maybe a little bit of time before I get started, but uh, 1st of July will be the, the first day that we've been. Great. Well, um, thanks for the conversation. Uh, great insights. Uh, congratulations again, right? Uh, um, and. Um, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna have an awesome uh, time during uh, during your your career at Bain, right? And well, let's see where things lead you. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> cool. Cheers.